Welcome to another episode of Shift Tips, where we'll be sharing tips and tricks to make your digital life simpler. If you're new here, I'm Sharon Malone, and today we'll be diving into the world of browser cookies. Let's get started. Ever encountered that small pop-up on a website asking you to accept cookies? Do you know what you're agreeing to? Today, let's unravel the mystery of browser cookies and the implications of accepting them. Cookies are a small sweet cake, typically round, chewy in texture, snickered, doodly in flavor. Wrong cookie. Browser cookies. Browser cookies are small data files stored in your device by websites. What are the different types of cookies? My personal favorite, peanut butter. But cookies come in different forms and their purposes can vary. First party cookies originate from website visits. They pretty much set the tone for your overall online experience. Now, here's an example. If you've ever gone back to your shopping cart, your stuff is still there, first party cookies. Third party cookies, I'm looking at you oatmeal raisin. <laughs> they track and collect user data and they're often associated with advertisers. So should you accept cookies? Or maybe the better question is, are they even necessary? And what are the consequences? While you're not obligated to accept cookies, some websites may limit your access without them. The advantages of accepting cookies is it personalizes your experience. Think not having to enter your email and password every single time, because who can remember a password anyway? When should you be rejecting cookies? Unencrypted websites pose security risks, but how do you know if a website's encrypted? Look for the little lock in your search bar. Now, I think it goes without saying that you can never fully protect yourself from hackers, but the little lock is a good sign that you're in the right place. Without it, I'm sorry to say, but it makes you more vulnerable to hackers, and we all wanna keep our data safe. If you're sharing sensitive information like social security numbers, banking details, you might wanna consider rejecting the cookies to protect against online fraud. Managing cookie preferences. Now, most browsers let you manage your cookies. You can accept all the cookies, accept only first party cookies, or reject the cookies altogether. Periodically deleting your cookies also gives you more control over the data websites collect about you. And bonus, if you get in the habit of deleting your cookies, over time, your computer could start running faster. Shift settings enhance your privacy and experience when managing multiple email accounts and extensions. You can easily clear cookies in your settings, effectively eliminating the cookie crumbs of your browsing history. The way Shift handles cookies complements the browser's app integration and organizational features. This empowers you to navigate the delicate balance between privacy and personalization. That's all I got for you today. Sorry. That's the way the cookie crumbles. I at least hope you feel a little more certain when accepting cookies from strangers. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more Shift Tips.